What's happening, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So last time was quite the fun adventure. You can probably already guess what happened, right? Lots of slaughtering. Uh, uh, who's calling my name? Is that you, Uncle? What's up, my man? How's it hanging? Go rustling? No, I, I don't think so. So yeah, last time we went and we uh, committed a massive slaughter. I mean, we killed so many people. But I feel like that's pretty much our entire story, right? We kill people, we go on the run, then we go and kill more people at the new place we're at, and then go on the run again. I mean, it's just sort of like an endless cycle. It is an endless cycle. But uh, unfortunately, at some point, this cycle is going to end when we all die. Anyway, I think, oh, yep, uh-huh, it's amazing. He can see me from everywhere. It's incredible. My man is like, like a bat. He's got sonar. Yes, where are you, Dutch? Dutch? Oh. Di where, where the hell is he? Oh, he's upstairs. Oh, I was like, really? He saw me from inside the house? Good God. So I wonder who is going to get it today. What an unfortunate poor soul is going to be uh, killed because of Dutch's grand plan for a future world of no human beings, a, a, a civilization where there are no human beings, the Wild West, a peaceful paradise so, for gangsters. Arthur, you get the deciding vote. By what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that mm -hmm. we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Tahiti? Farmers. <laughs> but we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come He's on. He's got a point. You better be right about this one. I am. Tahiti! I mean, I've my man, you've lost before, it. Tahiti? Usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Mm. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. We make enemies everywhere. It's like everyone is our enemy. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. No. Catch him off guard. <laughs> okay. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Sure. If you say so. Have we ever done a job that's actually paid off? I feel like we haven't. Okay. Cornwall, the Braithwaite's, the O'Driscoll's. I mean, literally, we have never done anything that's actually worked out. We're just on the run constantly. In fact, I'm pretty sure any job that went smoothly was my Thank idea. Well, Arthur's what? idea. For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. Mm. Let's move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Revenge. Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of 
pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. I'm the one doing all the work. Respect, Dutch. Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Well, if you ask. Faith. Nah, it's I not gonna work out. Over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small minded? Uh -oh. I think he's starting to become unhinged. The family, go our separate ways. Just tell me. Oh of yeah. Not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Abundantly. I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, uh, excuse me? You are talking like John. I'm about to throw I you in a swamp. woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No, no but he's insane. He'd say, <laughs> Let's go. Because I'm he's insane. Here, ain't I? I've been at your side for 20 years. I know. I... I... He's losing it. I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything. Is wearing me down. The others mm. I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. What do you mean? I'm anyway, right behind you. Here we are. Literally. Let me do the talking. Oh, please. You you do the talking all the time. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. Yeah, he's becoming unhinged. He's seeing that his plans are not working and that Thomas. we are getting tired. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. How did you lose that the eye? The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. <laughs> we need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. I think Pardon? a gator got at his eye. Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. I would not want to be out in a swamp you in the middle of the night like this. Uh-uh. There's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Yeah. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. No, that'll well, scare I me. I want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. <laughs> Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Clearly. My I voice just cracked. Good Lord. Up ahead. Oh, we've got some bodies. Ah. Yeah, I would not want to be out in the murky water in the middle of the night with gators on the prowl. Hell no. Oh, for sure. Send the ugly man in to do all the hard work. Dutch, you got some fancy clothing. 
Maybe you should get him dirty for once in a while, you know? Like, or uh, for once in a while. What am I trying to say? I don't know. Do some work. You never do work. You, you're always talking, but you're never working. You should get down here in the mud. Do all the hard work like your boy. Then maybe you'll start this to come one, up with better Jim. plans. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Ah, ha, 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 ha. He's like a snake. Stay close. Very funny. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Mmm. You can see why Eden and Swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. This dude is crazy. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Quieter than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. I see a gator over there. <laughs> you could not pay me all the money in all of the world to do this in real life. Not a chance. No. Are you kidding me? Hell no. Can you imagine the pain of losing a leg to an, Stop an alligator? Oh, it's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Why? So I'm an easy target? Great plan, buddy. I'm going to book it that way real fast and then hope he doesn't bite me. All right. <laughs> Let's keep moving. That would never work. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Hmm. Some more than others. Oh, oh, that's so creepy. Oh, yeah. See, I would, I would have just had a heart attack if I saw gators in the water at surface level and then they went under. Heart attack instantly. I'd be an easy target for gators. Just a man has a heart attack floating on the water. <laughs> Easy pickings. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap's stuck in the mud. It happens. Hmm. Are, uh, are you sure you're not picking up an alligator? I would hope he knows the difference. It's gonna be a gator. Oh, no. Guess I am such a coward. Wanna be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. How could you even protect yourself in a swamp like this? Hold up. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're dead. We're all dead. We're gator meat. I'm not very delicious. Go for Dutch. He doesn't do any work. Yeah, he, he's delicious. Tender meat. Oh, my God. There's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. Mm. Yeah, this does not look like it'd be very much fun. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay. Split up. Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Oh, oh, for sure. I have a feeling Jules has met his match. A giant gator with 30,000 teeth. Yeah, Jules is probably into several pieces floating throughout the swamp. There's a leg over there. Oh, there, there's his arm. I'm not gonna say what that is. No, I'm joking. Okay, let's head this way and hopefully I find Jules and not a giant gator with an appetite. Holy shit. The water line is all the way up to our face. Jules! This is truly a swamp. No! Oh yeah, he's dead. He's for sure dead. Hey! 
Someone there? What type, of, what type of response do you think you're gonna get? Goose. Yep. I have a bad feeling about this. I think our free ticket on that boat ride is no more. Hey! Someone there? Up here. Oh! That must be him. I stand corrected. Well, now, how did you get up there? Clearly, he climbed, but, I mean, come on. You're a coward. Come on down, Jules. Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. The you name is Arthur. There? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. Well, shit, let you me up the tree. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Oh, oh okay. you ran. <laughs> and uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a chance. Oh, thanks. Well, if he's a professional that lives in the swamp and he's scared, I can't even imagine what this thing looks scare. like. It's over here. <sighs> Stop. I kind of want to get a spot up uh -huh. in the tree next to him. Uh. Uh, I got it loose. Someone's Go. going to die. Good man. All right. Let's no? get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Well, that's boring. I thought for sure a gator would grab someone, pull him under. Thank God. Well, we made it, and we have all our limbs. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Scared eyes will play tricks on you. Oh, shit! Well, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Uh, I don't think that's a tree stump. You need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. It'll take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is I called a bad it. Idea. Oh yeah. Bye, Jules. You'll see any giant monster. You're a brave man. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here. The guns loaded. He's gonna be pulled under. I'm calling it. Massive gator. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Pull, boy. Oh come on, where's the muscles at? I don't weigh that much. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Called it, I knew it. I knew it, the game was building that suspense. I knew someone had to be pulled under. What? what? Run! Save Jules. I can't save him. You want me to get in the water with this, this monster, this beast? Oh boy. I'm coming, Jules. It's kind of hard to run through all the mud, but hold on. You may lose a few limbs, but yeah, at the end of the day, you'll have a really cool story. Come here, son. What is it? Oh my god! Oh shit! Where'd he go? I don't know, but I don't want to stay and find out. Oh, oh what's lurking down here? Oh no, I see him! Yeah, 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 I'm coming. There's no way that's a gator. He would have pulled him under by now and shook him around, broke his spine, killed him. I got you, Sim. I got you. He's got both legs. Oh no, one leg's bleeding. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he's bleeding out fast. Hold on, my man. I got you. Of, of course, unless the gator pulls me under too, then we're both dead. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. Oh, God, no. I got you, please, oh he's bleeding out fast. Oh. You know, you could get out of the boat and come help me. That would be nice. 
What, you think I'm just walking there casually? I'm holding a man. This is thick, soupy, swampy water. It's not easy. Not that you would know. Dutch won't even get in. He's worried about messing his nice clothing up. I'm joking, he was obviously just at the swamp, but whatever. I mean, come on, you could have rowed the boat over to me, right? A little bit of effort. Leg is chewed up. <laughs> oh my God! I I don't have a cannon. He said I needed a cannon. I don't got a cannon. Uh, do I have dynamite? I don't have dynamite. Well, boys, it's, it's been nice knowing you. See you. See you on the other side. Jesus Christ! It's like seeing a sub coming towards me. <laughs> All right, I think I need some energy. Hold up. Um. Shit, uh, you know what, let's take this. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy crap, that thing is big. <laughs> Row, faster. Come on, double time. Shit, that is one big old game. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this, try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Well, I wasted Just that tonic, potion, or potion. Dutch. I'm not a wizard. <laughs> The tonic, whatever it was, I wasted it. I thought we were gonna have a big gator battle, but apparently not. Just a few warning shots into the water and he he was gone. All right, calm down. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. Uh, thank you for the side commentary. I think I know how to do this. I've stopped the bleed. I think you'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Oh, we are gonna have a big battle. Aw, oh, shit! I don't have the gun for this, man! Oh my god! It, it's Godzilla! Godzilla of the swamps! Uh, it's a good thing you're asleep. You don't want to see this. Yeah, it's like a, uh, a U-boat coming to ram a ship. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. This thing is huge. Okay. I think it's had enough. I wouldn't be too sure. Can we get back now? Oh. You're gonna be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh my God. There's a monster oh, out here. he is in pain. <laughs> he's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic? Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. You know, well, I've just realized. It seems as though everyone we've done wrong has uh, some type of bad past, right? Like the Braithwaite's and the Greys, they were once slavers. And then Cornwall is a railroad man that doesn't respect other human beings. And, uh, I mean, it just seems like everywhere we go... Well, oh, shit, I'm about to die. <laughs> I need some health. Uh, we're always hurting other people that have also hurted people, right? Hurted people? Hurt people. I can't speak. So maybe, you know, we're like Robin Hood. Stealing from the rich to give to the poor. Except in this case, we don't actually give money to the poor, but you know, harm the people that have done harm to others, right? Does that make you a virtuous human? Probably not, but it, likes, it makes you less bad than if you were harming innocent people. 
It's not how that works. Well, hmm. just trying to justify all the senseless killing. But I, th I think the Dutch is starting to get the feeling that no one else is really trusting his plan. I mean, he had at the beginning of the game this plan to find an area we could go to and be safe from society, right? To me, it just sounds like he wants to make a hippie camp. But then it went from that, we're gonna go to the promised land, be free, right? No law, no other people to tell us what to do. Yep. To now we wanna go to Tahiti or Fiji. I mean, that doesn't sound like my man has a plan at all. It sounds like he's just crazy and he's trying to get people to follow him. It's probably what it is. He got intoxicated on people following his orders and uh, looking up to him. And now that they're starting to lose faith in him, he's really becoming unhinged. It's probably what it is. All right, I have quite the ride ahead of me. So uh, when I get there, I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, I just randomly stopped off by the side of the road here Help where this blind, uh, blind uh, guy is. And he just, he looks so creepy. I can't explain it. For your future, a dollar for your fate. There's something about this guy that's very, very weird. Take this. Tell me my fate or future. Run from the seeker, sir. Run and keep running, or help others to run. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. That is the most vague thing I've ever heard. You're like a fortune cookie. It Please, can apply to anything. I need to be alone with my thoughts now. Oh, you have thoughts to be left alone with, huh? Because <laughs> you can't see, uh, blind old man. Uh, he's kind of creepy. He reminds me of like a witch out somewhere in a spooky woods to next Don't to a what you know. castle. Don't end up like me. He's just talking to himself. Okay. All right, Mr. Fortune Cookie. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna be doing a job. It's sort of a side mission, I suppose. I mean, it's still part of the main story, but uh, it's de How did I just, w I just lost honor. From, from what? What did I do? I gave money, oh, oh boy, bounty hunters. Yeah. I gave money to a blind man. How could I have lost honor? Okay, I'm gonna try and get around these guys. And then we're going to go help out the uh, two characters we met from last episode. Uh, something about an oil deed? I'm not sure. Let's go up here. Look at that. Oh, I was about to brag. I was about to give myself a pat on the bat for being an expert mountain climber with uh, the skills of stealth, but nope, apparently not. Yep. Napoleon, we got to work on your speed and agility, my man. My girl I'm it's a girl horse I don't know whatever you need to be a little bit faster you need to do the impossible there's this new thing called a car and you're not as good as a car you know what I'm saying so either be a car or else I'm gonna have to shoot you it's not very fair oh this game's so pretty though I love it I can't get over how nice it looks on PC okay I'm gonna wait for the bounty hunters to leave and then I believe yeah here it is eagle flies we have to go talk to these guys. Oh, wait, wait, was it about uh, me with the sun, the eagle flies, to steal some documents from Cornwall, kerosene, and tar? Okay, I guess it wasn't about oil. Well, I mean, I guess it could be, though, right? All right, all right, here we are. Yeah. What is he looking at? Got some fancy binoculars there, do you? And a it nice came. bow. Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Hmm. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guards. All right, all right, all right. I got you, I got you. I would not want to call on him for help. All he has is a bow. I mean, no offense. 
You're not much help shooting arrows at people that are shooting lead back. Ooh, cinematic camera angle. All right, I can dig it. Now we just need to sneak in, not kill anyone, which will be a first, and uh, get this incriminating evidence. It's kind of weird. With Arthur, he's not just a, uh, a deranged killer. Sometimes he's doing things for the right reason. I mean, inevitably, the root reason he's even doing it is to kill people in the first place and to make money, I'm sure. But it's it's kind of weird. It's like, on one hand, he's really smart, and he, he knows who he is. He's self-aware. And on the other hand, he's just um, cold-blooded, you know? Generous, evil, cold-blooded, murderous, yet somehow he can be kind to people when he needs to be. He's just, I don't know, he's an oxymoron. He, he shouldn't exist. He's a paradox. How can you be good and evil at the same time? Apparently Arthur can swing it both it ways. Up. Yep, supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay, better get a move on then. Look at him just chilling in the back. <laughs> they don't suspect anything. Don't mind me, boys. I belong here. Well, look at that. This place really isn't that heavily guarded. I mean, I could have just snuck in. All right. I'm going to start loading up. Okay, let's exit the wagon. Sneak into the factory. All right, all right. Will do. Oh, there's a lot of people. Now, how the hell am I going to do this without being caught? Again, being stealthy is not my strong point. Killing lots of people, I'm good at that. But stealth? Not so much. Especially when all the doors are squeaky. I mean, maybe, maybe they'll think I belong here. Do I look like I would work in a factory? Unless uh, factory workers have pimped out guns. Okay, uh, let's search the drawers. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm so stupid. This isn't even the spot. Oh, boy, oh, boy. There's no way I'm doing this without getting caught. Let's go through here. Maybe with all the... Oh, shit! Oh, ha how? How? You would think a man wearing a long coat with gold guns would blend right into a factory, but no. I guess not. I told you I'd get caught. All right, fat man, I'm gonna have to tackle you. Hold up, give me one second. All right, let's try this again. I had to actually restart the entire mission because it kind of locked me in where I was having combat with the other people, which I don't want to do that. I want to try and do this the stealthy way. I want to at least wait right. until I've got the papers or the incriminating evidence before I get caught. Then maybe I don't care as much and I can run. But I have to at least give myself the uh, satisfaction of getting past these people without getting caught. Oh, wait a minute, I, oh. Maybe I can go to the second floor. The door's open down here, so I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to be. Let's try and go up here. Is this open? Nope, son of a bitch. Okay, I just need to try and remain calm. Just uh, blend in with the atmosphere. Got the strange here, boys. Just a man with some shiny guns sneaking through. No reason to be suspicious at all. Oh, wait. Can I go this way? No, I can't. Never mind. Ooh. All right, fat boy. That's right. Go outside. Go outside, fat boy. Yikes. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Guard. Guards that way. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Nice. This happens in real life throughout history, I'm sure. People sneaking past guards. But I couldn't even imagine the terror of trying to do this in real life. I mean, how? How could you do that? I, my gut would be twisted trying to sneak past someone. I just know that if I were trying to do that, I would have a heart attack. A panic attack on the spot trying to sneak past someone, knowing they're going to catch me. No way. 
Which makes me wonder how, uh, how spies work in the espion espionage business. Because there are spies. The spies are real. You know, countries spy on each other. How could you be a spy? Well, like, I feel like they'd be the most stressful thing on Earth. Pretending like you care about one country when in fact you work for another country. I mean, I, I know that's just, oh man. I like to ramble. This is really rambling. It's far out there, but I'm just saying like, the amount of stress that would be on someone in espionage would be uh, a lot. I couldn't take it. Uh, you must be damn Barry. Who? <laughs> Oh, he means business. Widen yourself, friend. This won't take long. Interrogate. Oh. You know, you could just give me what I want. I don't have to beat your face in. Okay, all right. You want to play hard? That's fine. <laughs> he should have known. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Clearly! <laughs> I just pulled you out from behind your desk, you idiot! <laughs> Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Oh, don't make... Don't make me play the... Rough, I'll do it! You see that? The door. Yeah, that's right. You see that? The chair? No one could come in here? I, I would not be playing games with me if Mary, I were you. Think, man. Ooh! Your mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice voice. <laughs> he has such a way with words. I love it. All right, well, that wasn't so hard. Now, was it? My voice cracked. I, I I don't know what's happening here. You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Oh. No. Oh. Danbury. 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 You okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes. It's just I'm working. All's fine. Oh, that is not convincing. Now stay quiet. My head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder who's more clever in uh, the Vandalier gang, Arthur or Dutch? I'm gonna say Arthur. He he talks and acts. Well, I mean, he looks like he's stupid. I guess people could say he even acts like he's stupid, but I, I think he's kind of smart. Hey, 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 hold it right there. Oh, the then again, hey, never mind. I've been caught. Maybe I'm not so smart. <laughs> oh, if that's a distraction, that is one hell of a distraction. You, you, you are so dumb. I'm gonna let you live just because I feel bad for you. All right, I, I need to get the hell out of here. Hello there, sir. Oh shit! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! My aim is terrible. Good lord! What happened here? It went up in a ball of flames. Okay, hold up. I think I need to take some Jolly Jacks. There we go. Where are the uh, where are the hot dogs at, man? And the marshmallows. Let's have a weenie roast. Oh, we got one more over here. Sorry, buddy, you're not invited to the s'mores bonfire. He's really rocking the boat. Going full on old school, huh? Oh, careful! Damn, you're shooting at me with that. You know what? I admire your bravery. You're probably gonna get us both killed trying to use the bow, but uh, I'll join you. Let's go full on old school. They're coming after us. He's really using a bow. <laughs> I wonder if we can actually hit anyone. Oh, hold up, I got this one. Oh, damn, he got my hat. Okay, wow, I'm a terrible shot. Maybe this is why you don't use a bow when you don't have, oh my goodness. I can't, I, don't look, man. Don't look, it's embarrassing. I couldn't get even one person. Oh, oh, I got him in the arm. You see that? <laughs> That's embarrassing. I was manipulating time using slow motion, dead eye, and I couldn't even use a bow to get a kill. Even when I was cheating. Oh, through the shoulder. Oh my God, I am just, I am so bad at aiming. It's embarrassing. 
Aren't you good? Imagine bringing a bow to a gunfight. Thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. I like that distraction. I'll give you that. That was a good ass distraction. All right. Already me doing a good deed for a fellow human being and I've earned more money than we did with Dutch's last big job, right? He had a tip that apparently we were going to make a fortune. Robbed that bank. I'm guessing it was a bank. And uh, oh, what, what's that? Nothing in there. We made what, what was it? $15 a piece? Oh boy. Let's go, girl. Meanwhile, I do something nice for someone and I walk away with a stack of cash. That's why everyone else at camp is broke and your boy's sitting on 5.5 grand. I'm not even sure how I can spend the money. I have almost all the guns. I pimped out most of the guns I already have. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, there's nothing else that I can really buy at the moment other than I suppose I could get a better horse, if that's even possible. Like a horse with better stats, I'm not sure. All right, well, you know what? I think for now I'm gonna leave it off there. Um, next time, I believe we are going to be exacting revenge with Dutch. Dutch just, I don't even know. He gets caught up in his own little story. He's like a, a spider weaving a web, right? But only the web is just insanity. There's no actual rhyme or reason to it. He's writing a story without an ending. I don't know what Dutch is planning, but uh, I have a feeling next time it's going to involve a little bit, just a pinch of insanity, a little dab of slaughter. And I'm sure if Mike is there, is he here? I don't know, it doesn't say. If Mike is involved, then of course, obviously everyone will die. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until next time, peace out.